If you want to know some of the key ingredients to having a great, healthy dating relationship, this video is for you. It's Coach B. Wiley here. I hope you're having a good day. Follow me for daily tips on how to date and communicate effectively. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. So the first tip, if you're looking to have a great dating, healthy relationship, number one is very important. You got to be this person's friend. Sometimes when you're dating someone, you're getting to know them and then you transition into a relationship and you have issues and you kind of bump heads a little bit. That's normal. That's natural, right? You may not always like this person, but then you have to remember who they are who they showed you they were and how they show up every day outside of this issue. That's where the friendship comes in. What does a friendship look like? Think about your friend. What do you do with your friend? You laugh, you act a fool, you're silly, you're fun. You're just usually having a good time and you can just talk to them and be open, which leads to number two. You always want to make sure when you're in a healthy dating relationship that you're open and honest. Some people can't be open. Most of y'all can't be honest, but y'all want a boyfriend. But y'all want to date, make it make sense. So what that means is, is that you're open about who you are. If you know that you on the first date, for example, if you know on the first date that you're dating with the intention to have a boyfriend, not saying he going to be your boyfriend, not saying he going to be a future husband, but you're dating with the intention to get into a relationship. Why are you afraid to be honest and say that? Because he then is going to say, oh, I'm just going with the flow and seeing how things go. Now, when that happens, you get scared and that's a whole nother story. That means you're not aligned. You shouldn't go on a second date. That's just a side note. So this is just a little sidebar here. If you want to be open and honest because you want him to do the same on that first date out there, you have to start there because if you're not open and honest from the gate and that don't mean telling him all your business. Absolutely not. That don't mean confessing all your sins. Absolutely not. That don't mean you got to tell him you cheated on your test in 12th grade. Absolutely not. That means being open with your intentions, being open with who you are, being open with your lifestyle. You know, you don't smoke, you got asthma and you don't want nobody to smoke around you. Then you should say that. That's being honest because he could be a chain smoker. And last thing you know, he come up smelling like smoke. Now you in a hospital. Make it make sense. So that's number two. The third one, I wrote this down. When you're in a healthy dating relationship, you definitely want to have date nights. I cannot stress this enough. At one point in my life, I lived with a married couple. We won't call no names, okay? I lived with a married couple for a little time, a little bit of time, and I got to observe them being married. Me personally, I have yet to be married. We're getting there though. However, I'm a, I observed them and they never went on date night and I lived with them for a time. They never went on date night. I even brung it up, but they never went on date night. I think it's an, it is imperative to go on date night. And date night isn't just date night, literally. That means you can go for a walk on the park. You can have your daily run with each other. You can go to the gym. You could go have brunch, lunch, dinner. You can go have a cup of coffee, cup of tea. You can go to the dog park. You can go to the fair, to the carnival, roller skating. You can go to church. You can go pray together. You can literally go do some jumping jacks in the backyard. You can just sit in the backyard holding hands, one-on-one -on -one talking. Literally, one-on-one -on -one time. That's all date night is is a slot of time consistently every single week you don't miss where it's just you and them. If you have kids, the kids are at grandma's house, the kids are watching Finding Nemo in the next room to where it's just you and your your person, one-on-one, -on -one. even if it's Netflix, even if you watch a Hulu, whatever it is, the point, and you got it by now, right, is you're to have one-on-one -on -one time with that person that you with that's intimate, and intimate ain't always about SEX. Intimate is just sitting there holding hands, gazing in each other's eyes, meditating, doing yoga, working out, whatever you guys like to do, do that consistently. All right. And then we have number four. You always want to make sure you're checking in with each other. You're checking in because we get with the hustle and the bustle. Everybody got jobs, kids, dogs, cats, birds, you're out in the forest, whatever it is you do, things happen and you're not going to know what's going on. Maybe their energy is a little low. Maybe your energy is a little low, but how do you know if you don't have an open conversation, maybe every week or at the end of every day, check in with each other before you go to sleep. Y'all live together. Y'all dating. Y'all talking to each other at the end of the night. Well, how was your day? What would you say was the high and low of your day today? Maybe that could be a conversation that you add in every day, every week. Just do it consistently. You always want to check in with the person that you're dating because maybe there is something that's bothering them and it's coming out a little negative or it's coming out like something ain't right or it's not coming out at all or they're being distant or they're being quiet. Whatever it is, people react differently when things are not going well for them or if they're scared about something or they're fear, in fear of something or if they just are unclear about something. So you definitely want to check in with that person 
every day, if not every week. And the last thing I want you to do to have a healthy dating relationship is I want you to make sure that your goals and your intentions are aligned. Some people be having goals this week and it changes the next week. Some people will go into something with the intention to be with you and the next thing you know, they just want to screw you. Like we got to make sure we're on the same page. Usually you can tell you're on the same page by their actions. Their actions will tell you everything you need to know. Their meaning his. His actions will tell you everything you need to know. He could go from being consistent. He can go from courting you to planning dates. So all of a sudden, let's next feeling, next, next, I can't even say it. Next, how do you say Netflix? Netflix and chill. All of a sudden, that's all y'all doing. Y'all always in the house. You don't ever go out in public. He don't ever want to be shoot. That is a red flag. So you just want to always do these things. These are just quick five tips that are very simple. If you need to go back over them, have them handwritten down, go back, rewind the tape, play it as many times as you need to, share it with a friend. But I'm telling you, these fe- these five dating tips will help you out. Be friends, have open con- conversations, have date nights, check in with each other, make sure you're on the right page, make sure what you want is what he wants. All right, you got it. If you're still here, thank you for watching. Feel free to follow me on TikTok. Feel free to subscribe to me on YouTube. If you want to take it a step further, go ahead and watch as many videos as you like. If you want to book me, do so. The link is in my bio. Coach B. Wiley. Talk to you later.